Why Kill Colored People, June 1, 2020 by Anna Von Reitz. The simple answer is that the diabolical CADs are racists and always have been. They actually think that they are superior in every way, the master race, blah, blah, blah. Logically, if you are going to promote yourself as the master race, somebody has to be the slave race. This is part and parcel of their entire either, or, thinking modality. These Cretans literally practice either, or, thinking and enforce it on all of us as a means dividing and conquering us, all of us. There are no actual winners in Satan's kingdom, other than Satan. So they divide us into rich and poor, black and white, Catholic and Protestant, and from the time we are babies what do they do? They teach us, literally teach us, to look at our differences and not our similarities. This is so they can manipulate us. Just like they are manipulating emotions and promoting lawlessness using yet another false flag. It turns out that whoever the unfortunate victim in the videotape may have been, it wasn't Mr. Floyd, who actually died three years ago in another state. Red flags, anyone? We've been lied to about the structure of our government. We've been lied about who is in charge. We've had quadrillions of dollars embezzled out of this country. We've been lied to about September 11th, the Lusitania, the Maine, the attack on Pearl Harbor, and as I recently demonstrated, lied to about the atomic bomb. And we have certainly been lied to about the safety of vaccines and government oversight of the drug companies and COVID-19. What more does it take, folks? We are dealing with liars. They lie for fun, they lie for profit. Yes, and they lie to control and to excuse their actions and to do hideous things and they aim to come out smelling like roses, too. If they could lie about the atomic bomb and get away with it, obviously, the sky is the limit. Put a phony veneer of fake science and bogus math over it, and they've already proven they can scare people into building bomb shelters. Right now, people are rioting over police abuses that have gone on for decades, not just in Minneapolis, but all over this country, especially in democratic strongholds. What? Yes, you heard that right. Absolutely all the worst police abuses, the racial profiling, the atrocious disrespect and disregard for individual rights and dignity all occur where? In democratic strongholds. Why? Because Democrats have always hated people of color. It was the Southern Democrats in the Rump Congress after the Civil War that re-enslaved the freed plantation slaves as public slaves. It was the Democratic Party that voted unanimously not to give colored people any voting rights and then turned around and pretended to be BFFs. They were also the ones that cheated colored people out of recognition of their natural and unalienable rights and substituted equal civil rights, that could be suspended at the whim of the Congress, just like they are right now. Liars. Nothing but big, fat, dirty liars, who talked about freedom and provided enslavement, for everyone, colored and white, alike. I am told that last night looters destroyed the Treasury Building in New York. I find that highly suspicious. We are left to think that the looters were dumb enough to believe there was money in the Treasury, but they didn't bust open banks and left ATMs standing. More likely just cover for the destruction of more records that have gone missing or been destroyed. This is getting monotonous. I am also told that someone kindly left big piles of bricks for the looters and left truckloads of bricks on every city block just to make the looting easier. Wasn't that thoughtful of someone? And as always, George Soros and Son are involved. If this country is such a terrible place how did they become billionaires? Why aren't they in jail for funding sedition, and a whole lot more? Inquiring minds want to know. Finally, to get to the question we started with, why kill colored people? Well, they operate their government as a corporation so they want to cut their operating costs. Getting rid of the large inner city ghettos and all the welfare recipients does that very neatly, and once the ghettos are torn down the vermin can take over all that valuable real estate for development of parks and luxury high-rises. Kill two birds with one stone. But there's more. I already told you about their habit of killing their priority creditors? We are all their priority creditors, but they owe colored people more money on average because they have been enslaved as public servants ever since 1868. Most white folk weren't presumed upon until 1933. So, exercise your racial biases, kill the priority creditors you owe the most money to, reduce the welfare burden, and free up some prime real estate for new development, all at the same time.
Colored people of all shades and colors, better think all this rioting and looting over. Better go home and give them no excuse to roll in the tanks and guns. Don't get mad. Get even. It's hard to spend money you are owed if you're dead. Join your state assembly and help make history, and change, that the politicians promise and never, ever deliver. www.theamericanstatesassembly.net Links to Anna's articles and resources can be found in the video description box. Thanks for watching.